Hello, I am Milka Jarle, working as Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today we are going to learn about various mechatronic system. Let's start. Learning outcome. At the end of this session, learners will be able to explain the working of mechatronics systems. So let's see what is a typical mechatronic system. A mechatronic system consists of mechanical systems, electrical systems and information technology. A typical mechatronic system such as humanoid robot consists of mechanical elements, sensors, actuators, controllers, signal conditioning devices, computer and software interfacing and power devices. So let's start with an example of a mechatronics system that is humanoid robot. Humanoid robot system is more complex and intelligent mechatronic systems. It involves servo motors, sensors, controllers, electronics, electrical devices and embedded actuators with artificial intelligence capabilities. The three major elements of humanoid robot are first is sensors, second is actuators and third is planning and control. So the figure shows the schematic sketch of humanoid robot in which you can see the various sensors over here that is force sensors, camera, processing unit, antenna, central processing unit, battery, receiver and various processing units. So let's see the first sensors. So there are two types of sensors that is proprioceptive sensors and exteroceptive sensors. So let's see what is the first type of sensor that is proprioceptive sensors, they sense the position, orientation and speed of the humanoid body and the various joints. The second type of sensor is exteroceptive sensors. These sensors give the robot information about surrounding environment allowing the robot to interact with the world through vision and sound. So next that is actuators, the humanoid robots are constructed in such a way that they mimic the human activities or the motion human body does. So the same is given to the humanoid robot. So these actuators perform the functions of muscles and joints. So as the movement of uh, robot has to be human like using legged locomotions dynamic balancing during walk is very important so the humanoid robot should balance itself while it does the activity of walking uh, the planning and control focuses on self collision detection path planning and obstacle avoidance to allow humanoids to move in complex environment a humanoid robot is an autonomous robot because it can adapt to changes in its environment on its own and continue to reach its goal. So let's see the features of humanoid robot. The first feature is self maintenance, second is autonomous learning, third is avoidance of situations harmful to people property and itself and the fourth is safe interaction with human beings. So let's see the next type of mechatronic system that is automatic camera. Automatic camera has an automatic focusing and exposure. For activating the system when the switch is operated and the camera is pointed at the object to be photographed the microprocessor takes the output from the range sensor and sends an output to the lens position to adjust the focusing. 
The lens position is feedback to the microprocessor so that the feedback signal can be used to modify the lens position according to the input from the range sensor. The light sensor gives an input to the microprocessor which then gives output to the output to determine if the photographer has selected the shutter control mode rather than aperture control mode the time for which the shutter will be open so the figure shows the diagram for automatic camera it has many actuators it has a motor drive and most of the things are done automatically without any manual interference so this figure also shows the figure for automatic camera so the next type of application that we are discussing today is washing machine control so washing machine uses a microcontroller pulse width modulation that is pwm feature of microcontroller controls the motor speed which is one of the important component of the washing machine control pwn output is fed to the driver circuit and then to the motor in two different directions that is forward and reverse direction so the door sensors keypad pressure sensor are interfaced to the microcontroller so let's see the process of microcontroller here we can see the washing machine is an example in which each and every activity has to be done in the sequence or in the uh, decided order so that's why washing machine is known as sequential control system in this system number of operations or events have to be carried out in order or in the correct sequence the various events of washing machine are shown in the figure here the first step in the washing machine is a pre wash cycle so in this for this step in this pre wash cycle the cloths in the drum are given uh, given a wash in the cold water and the inlet valve has to open water inlet has to be switched on so that uh, the water in the drum reaches a certain level and this water level is sensed by water level indicator and the output is given to the microprocessor and it stops the water inlet when the water up to the decided level is reached after the water is given into the drum in this pre wash cycle as the out inlet valve is closed now the motor is driven and the drum starts rotating in the direction which is fed the outlet valve is open so that the water in the drum is given out and in this way the pre wash cycle is completed second step that is main wash cycle the clothes are washed in the hot water for this step first the inlet valve has to be open to get the water inside so when the water in the drum reaches up to the level which we require the water inlet is closed by one of the sensor and when the water level is reached inlet valve is closed and after that the heater starts to heat the water in the drum so when the temperature of water is reached up to the preset value then the heater offs and the sensors senses the temperature and drum starts rotating and the wash cycle is completed so next step that is rinse cycle in this the cloths are rinsed with cold number of times in this uh, third step after uh, in the cold water continuous rotating of drum in the reverse and 
forward direction is done so that the cloths are rinsed properly and in the last step that is spinning cycle drum rotates with a higher speed than all the three steps above because the water has to be removed from the cloths so in this way the automatic sensations of the various parameters is done and the washing action is completed these are the references w bolton book and a book shetty and coke and book mahalik that is principal concepts and applications by tata magrohills thank you